The goal of the substitution method is to take one equation and solve for one of the variables. So, I'm going to start with the second equation, but what I'm going to do first is multiply both sides by the LCD6 to get rid of the fractions. Now that the fractions are gone, what I'm going to do is just solve for x arbitrarily. And when I do that, I get x equal to negative 3 fourths y, and now I'm just going to plug that into x in the first equation. Now y is the only variable, so I just have to combine the like terms. But what happens is the y's cancel out. And since 0 does not equal 1 and it's a false statement, that means it's a no solution. As you can see, two parallel lines, no intersection point.